Weather Authority. Here is your weekend weather, sponsored by Pack Saddle Barbecue. We're still seeing those warm temperatures across the state. Cooled down yesterday into the 70s for those overnight lows, then back into those 80s and warmed up into those 90s. And while we were a little bit cooler than what we have been seeing, still right on average, 98 for that afternoon high, not anywhere near any of those records. Even those lows last night, again, getting closer to average as we're cooling down a little bit more than what we have been seeing. We'll actually see a little bit of a cool down, especially for our night tonight. Current temperature, downtown San Angelo, looking off towards the north of downtown San Angelo, 88 degrees right now. Dew point is at 62, so feeling slightly humid out there. Humidity sitting at 42%. With those winds right now out of the northeast, and they've been fairly calm for much of this afternoon right now sitting at six miles per hour and we've actually seen a decent drop in those temperatures as compared to what we saw at this time yesterday for most of the Concho Valley about a five degree increase or decrease rather for the majority of those northern parts parts of the area though looking off towards the south that decrease starts to drop off actually seeing Ozona as well as Sonora staying exactly the same as what they saw at this time last night in Junction as well as Mason seeing a slight increase in those temperatures as they didn't allow themselves to cool down just as much as we did here in the central parts of the Concho Valley. Current temperatures right now, again, seeing those 80s, especially for those northern parts of the area, 88 in San Angelo, transitioning off towards the north, seeing 84 in Coleman, 86 in Braden, or Brady, rather, and even transitioning further towards the south. That's where you're seeing those warmer temperatures, 92 in Junction, 90 in Mason, as well as 90 in Ozona. And even looking off across the entire state, holding on to those warmer temperatures off towards the south, 95 in Laredo, 95 in San Antonio, 89 in Houston. You transition into those 80s towards central Texas and then back up, going further towards the north, actually cooling down even further. 79 in Wichita Falls, 82 in Amarillo. And we'll all continue to cool down over these next 12 hours, staying in those 80s for the majority of the night, but cooling down gradually into those upper to mid 70s for those overnight lows. And then Quickly warming back up, looking ahead to our afternoon tomorrow. That forecast for tonight, 74 for those overnight lows. A little bit of a cool down, again, seeing some slightly cooler conditions than what we have been seeing over these past several overnights. And mostly clear out there, but they could see a couple of clouds in the air area. Winds out of the east, northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And even looking ahead to tomorrow, a slight increase in those temperatures, 103 for those afternoon highs and fairly sunny out there. Could be seeing those more of those clouds for, focused for those morning hours, but then clearing out through the afternoon. Possible showers through those late afternoon hours. Winds out of the east, northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Actually looking at that Sunday, how our Sunday's going to plan out those cooler parts of the day, 8 a.m., 77 degrees and gradually warming up as we get to noon already in those 90s and then reaching into those triple digits as we reach 4 p.m. That's when we could be seeing those very isolated showers across the Concho Valley. We're actually going to see those temperatures gradually increase over these next several afternoons with a slight decrease next weekend.